Oh, and I made the beat. Got that sour diesel in a double cup. Yeah, smoking drink every day. I get high as fuck. Bands in my pocket, grab that pistol and I cock it. All that fucking hope you bluff them before I go and pop it. I tried to let these pussy boys eat. Now it's time to put these boys to sleep. Pussy boys always wanna talk. Swear Jesus Christ, where's my fucking crowd? I can smell the pussies from a mile away. Shoot his ass, fuck this bitch, they gonna drive away. Pops locked up in a fucking cage. Three thousand days before I see his face. Roll up on you, get the shepherd sprayed. I'm riding shot in that can. Shout out to my nation, that's that pack nation. Shout out to the gang, gang. And shout out to my notification gang, because you guys stay here on time. Now, today's video, I know you read the title, and yes, I'm going to teach you guys how to shoot without missing. It's time to teach you guys how to shoot. There's no reason you should be out there missing. Now, I know I'm a better shooter than a lot of other people. I've been shooting for years, and I've been shooting this way for years. But what I want you to do is listen to everything I'm telling you guys in the video and I guarantee you guys will see a big difference in your shooting, right? So what you guys want to do is go over to your options, go to your settings, right? You want to come down and make sure your shot meter is on feedback only and make sure your shot feedback is on. So I'm going to show you guys again right here, all right? And once that is done, what you guys really want to do is you want to just shoot practice shooting because 99.9% .9 of you guys rely on the meter you rely on the meter and I've been saying this since 2k 15 the meter is not good to do you should you should be looking at your hands your head paws or your legs you need to go to your mind court and figure out your jump shot now I look at the hands once once this the, his hands snap back right there I let it go most of the time it's green now you're not gonna make every you're not gonna make every shot every shot's not gonna be green but the more you practice the better your shot becomes all right I've been saying this for years now let me tell you the three things you should be looking for when you're shooting so let me go ahead and shoot a couple times uh, while I'm talking so um, th three things you look for is either his hands his head position pause if needed or the meter all right you can go check on my channel i've been saying a lot of this stuff for years it's green it's green bro it's green it's going to work so what i usually do is i usually stick about what two minutes in my mic court just looking at my jump shot getting green lights getting green lights getting green lights bro and then i will hop over to the park now every jump shot has a little twitch a little tweak and any signal that lets you know it's time to shoot so you should even be looking at your head position. Once the guy stops elevating, you should let go of the button, the stick, whatever you're shooting. Once his hands snap back, so like his his like right there, like once his hand, his wrist snaps back, then you let go so the wrist can snap forward. Anybody who knows basketball, you know what I'm talking about. If you know if you're not a basketball fan, you're not really big into basketball, you just like 2K. I would say just look at his head position, bro. As soon as the guy stops elevating, you hit the, you let go of the square button, or you let go of the stick. That is it. Bro. You see right here, I'm just out here greening out shots. Yes, I am missing. I'm not greening out all of them, but it's the consistency is way better than looking at the shot meter because the shot meter changed from uh, depends on your connection and depends on what type of form you do. But if you looking at your man and practicing looking at your man and get used to just looking at him when you shoot trust me you're gonna be out there at the park splashing bro trust me i've been doing this for years that's the method i've been using for years i've been took my shot meter off but when it goes to the park you know i don't think i don't think you can turn it off at the park you may can i haven't really tried to turn it off at the park yet but this is what i usually do i usually spend like two minutes in my my court just shooting with the meter off and make sure it's on Superstar. If you if you can't really play on Superstar, bump it down to All-Star level. Uh, I put mine on Superstar. There's no need to go to Hall of Fame. Between Superstar and All-Star, you'll be good, all right? So just choose one. And then you'll be out here at the park, and it's going to come second nature to you because you're going to be actually looking at your man's hands and looking at your shot. 
and if you're looking at the shot bro it's more effective and you can get it 99.8 percent of the time okay so this has been your boy og i hope this guys help you guys to shoot a little bit better in the park let me know down below if it helps you out because your the splash guy is back i'm back baby i am back so until the next time it's your boy og and i'm out peace Feels all night. She went on the first day we met. She let me fuck all night. Do the work.